Fight fans all over the world, it's Daddy P with Slap Happy Gorilla. What? Daddy P, I'm back. Listen, Jaime Munguia makes a huge statement by dropping John Ryder four times en route to a ninth round stoppage. Right? Listen. He has officially arrived at 168 and putting everybody on notice. He says he wants to fight the champions. The only champion in that division is Canelo Alvarez. So, essentially, he calling out Canelo Alvarez. But I'm going to tell you this, man. Look, I personally want to see Canelo Alvarez versus David Benavidez. That is point blank and period. But Jaime Munguia has just made the Canelo Alvarez fight a little more intriguing. And, you know, what I always want, I know I won't necessarily get because it really doesn't seem that Canelo Alvarez is looking to fight Benavidez. And that's at least in the first half of the year. Um, he may fight him towards the end of the year. We don't know that. But um, that's, you know, one of the rumors going around. But, like I said, it this Jaime Munguia fight with Canelo is a lot more intriguing as Canelo Alvarez could not get John Ryder out of there. Um, or maybe you could say Canelo Alvarez softened him up a bit. Now, John Ryder, man, look, he has a tendency to keep that, that uh, right hand low. He is a southpaw. So, his right hand is his jab hand, his lead hand. So keeping that right hand low, it was allowing Jaime Munguia to land the jab. And also that left hook was there virtually all night long. So eh, you could say Jaime Munguia, oh yeah, it makes it a little more intriguing. Yeah, it does make the fight a little more intriguing, but. You can also see holes in Jaime Munguia's game that Canelo Alvarez, just because of his experience and some of the little things that he's able to do, some of the little subtle things he can do that can quickly change a fight, you know, it'll be a lot of problems for Jaime Munguia. But um, all the same, Jaime Munguia... He did make this fight a little more interesting. I got to admit that. But what y'all think about the fight, man? Jaime Munguia, Canelo Alvarez. Like I said, I really want to see Benavidez Canelo. I mean, that is before any fight. I like Terrence Crawford, and I know Terrence Crawford want to fight Canelo. But I don't want to see none of those fights. I want to see Canelo fight a true 168-pounder. Which David Benavidez is a true 168 pounder. Now, David Benavidez really is the one that should get the shot next because he is the next up for that WBC. I mean, and he's been at that spot for so long, man. He's been calling out Canelo for so long. And Canelo Alvarez continues to ignore him and talk about what has he done. Look, he's a true 168-pounder. For one thing, stop fighting guys that are in lower weight classes and fight this man. I mean, I don't know what else to say with Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez, brilliant fighter. Um, but I just want to see him fight a true 168-pounder. Uh, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. And I really feel Canelo Alvarez is trying to wait David Benavidez out because it had in the past he has missed weight at 168. And I think he feels if he takes David Benavidez to the brink of time where it's hard for him to make 168, he softens him up for the kill. That's what I believe Canelo Alvarez is doing. That's why I don't believe he's going to fight him next. And he may fight him at the end of this year or he may try to push it to next year if he even is going to fight him this is daddy p like hate comment subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time it go down this is daddy p out of there